Cat Heads in Space, Episode 5, The Great Impersonation. Sound of a spaceship humming in the background. In the endless expanse of the galaxy, the spaceship Perseus sails through the stars, carrying its feline crew on an existential odyssey. Sound of the spaceship door hissing open. Scene 1, The Bridge of the Perseus. Good morning, Captain. Ready for another day of cosmic adventures and existential ponderings? Yes, Mittens. It's a meow nificent day for space stuff. Meow. You're sounding a bit off, Captain. And since when do you use meow so awkwardly? I am just furlustrated with the universe's mysteries. Right. So what's on the agenda today, Captain? We uh, navigate through the uh, star field of infinite yarn balls. Something's not right here. Scene 2, the quarters of Lieutenant Mittens. The captain never forgets our mission protocol, unless he's not really the captain. Scene 3, the ship's holding cell. Lieutenant Mittens sneaks into the holding cell only to find... Captain Whiskerfluff, you're here and you're tied up. Mittens, it's Zogblatt. He's impersonating me. You must expose him. Scene 4, back on the bridge. All right, Captain, let's talk about our favorite catnip fields on Earth. Oh, I love the fields of Mars. Gotcha. Captain Whiskerfluff would never confuse Earth with Mars. Scene 5, the showdown. You're not our Captain, you're Zogblatt. Sound of a scuffle, then a mouse-like squeak. With a swift paw, Mittens reveals Zogblatt, who had been using a holographic disguise. Scene 6, the resolution. Thank you, Mittens. Your sharp wit and cat-specific knowledge saved the day. Just doing my duty, Captain, besides existential doubt gives you gas, not bad impersonations. And so the order is restored on the poor Seus, with Captain Whiskerfluff back in command and Zogblatt in custody. The journey continues with the crew pondering the great mysteries of the universe and the occasional mouse in disguise. Sound of the spaceship fading into the distance. End of episode five. The Great Impurarsonation. Outro music plays softly reminiscent of a classic radio play.